being from around here, it's sort of bred into you, innit, really, and playing out on the streets with, with my mates and kicking a ball about and then going down and training from like a young age, even though I couldn't play. So I've just always been in and around it, and it's just something I've always wanted to do. It is really a dream come true. It's nice to hear, like, but don't read too much into it. Just knuckle down, get your head down, and loads of talent knocking about this Super League now. So in all sorts of positions, we come up against Mike Ashton and that last year. So so much, so much competition for places in international senses, but. We want to we want to do something as a club special. Middle kick ahead, dribbling kick, oh, and it's Wellsby again. It's Jack Wellsby for his second, dribbling his way over the line. You've only got to look like what we did as, a, as an academy against the school boys. Like everyone says, the school that Australia are head, but head and shoulders above us. And some people say that the school boys aren't aren't the proper Australian team. But there's people that were in that squad who have gone and made their debuts last year in our squads. So we two nailed them comfortably. So that's it's all, it's all you got to look at, really, and we've got loads of talent coming through at every club. Just not not Josh Eves. <laughs> he can he can leave it out, uh, but other lads like as said, they're all pretty close, and we've got a few more coming up this year. And obviously, we didn't make any signings, but we've had a few of the younger academy lot, which just shows the philosophy we've got here at Saints. Yeah, obviously, I've, I've learned a lot of QE because. Playing fullback and it's not just him. He's like Johnny Lomax. He's the most professional bloke in the squad, and everyone says it. I think everyone says it on the international stage as well. So people like him to sponge off. It's what we need as young blokes. He knows the game inside and out, and you can tell the difference when he's in the squad. Yeah, the, we're obviously striving to be as good as we all can be, but you can certainly feel the difference when there's like some robes in the squad. Quite comfortably say the way we finished in the table, we was shoulders above everyone else. So we've, we're comfortable with our squad and felt like we didn't need to recruit, and that's that, that's fair enough in it. And but other teams have gone and recruited, so we know the competition's going to be harder, and we're, we're ready for that. Because it's with Lomax, Lomax back on the inside, and it is costly, and it's Wellsby who gets the try. We just want to win everything. It's simple as that, really, isn't it? Obviously, I had, I had, I had me spell in the team last year, but I didn't play in any major finals. I didn't get a chance to challenge a couple. I didn't get a chance to the grand final. So to play in them has always been a dream for for any young rugby player. It's what, what you want to do, isn't it? Don't like sitting about. Uh, so anything, fishing, going out, just anything, anything I can get out of the house with. Yeah, well, I think a few of the lads are into fishing. And, Keep it a bit quiet only in summer and dad likes going fishing so when he goes down I go down with him but you know Luke Thompson and Tommy making some into their fishing. We're all striving for the to be the best at everything we do and obviously we won the grand final last year and league leaders but we fell short at the Challenge Cup and got the biggest one coming next week for all of us, Sydney Roosters, so we all want to prove a point. Yeah, I, th I think we see it more as a challenge to more than see where we're at. Uh, Obviously, there's going to be things in our favour, like they've not started yet in the weather and they won't want to come over here and we want to put them in a bad spot and prove to them that Super League's no walkover anymore and we're right up there with it. <laughs>